All right, for, for people that watch my shorts, I'm gonna get this tractor unloaded. But like I said, the people that watch my shorts, y'all are gonna know sort of what I'm doing. But I'm gonna go work on my, my new old truck today. It's gonna be a new trailer rig. Once I get that truck done, I'm gonna turn them with some more toolboxes on here. This is gonna be like a like a tool truck. But I'm gonna unload this tractor, unhook this trailer. That truck's parked at my dad's. I'm gonna go over there and work on it. All right. Well, in the thumbnail for this video, you're gonna see this truck's got a bed on it. But I already took the bed off. We're gonna build a nice flat bed for it. But I still gotta come in and cut all the pumps out. That hydraulic tank's got to go that's over there. Um, it's an 86. It's got a 8.2 Detroit, which really surprised me that it's a Ford and has a GM motor. So, but right now I got several things taken apart on it. Come up here. I got to get the heater box off. Put a new heater core in it. And I'm waiting on a new heater control, but today I'm going to flush the radiator. So I just I didn't want to flush all the bad stuff through the new heater core. So I just ran bypass and I got all new fittings and everything on it. So I'm gonna start it up. I haven't been started in about two weeks, so it's got brand new batteries in it. I need new tires. I'm waiting on those. But it ought to pull everything a lot better than my F250. Finished working in the hood, got it all flush, put new brakes on it, and we got it pulled inside. I'm gonna start building a bed. Alright, today we're gonna work on this loader. Oof, excuse me. We're gonna work on this loader. I actually got man. Lunch ain't treat me too well. We got a new tractor too. But <laughs> I got the quick attach in so how i how, at this time how i'm gonna do it is i got some tubing i'm gonna weld some tubing here up and down and then i'm gonna do that on both sides and i'm gonna run two pieces of tubing across and then we'll come back out to the tractor Probably should have unloaded the tractor. We might do that in a minute. I want to take some angle and run it from here to there to make that straight. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want more welding surface. If I won't, I won't have the right amount of welding surface that I feel comfortable with welding it straight to here. So, get started. All right, got my pieces cut. Gonna go just like that. Gonna fit up flush against this. That way it keeps it, this from coming over too much. So now I just gotta get it all welded on. I'm gonna stick weld it. That's a little stronger than the small mid welder that I have. So we get this welded on and then we'll put the pieces across. Alright, so I've got some two by three square tubing I'm gonna weld across the bottom here to that side on the bottom. Then I'm gonna go up as high as I can. I'm gonna weld two of them going all the way across. And those will weld onto the tractor. So, we get that measured and I'll get that cut and we'll get them put on there. I'm gonna pull this across and I thought I had enough of this to go across twice, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to go this week, get some more metal, which is fine. This is two by three. I just need another piece of two by three. And then I need to angle to weld on the loader itself. 
So I'll get that this week, which up there I might do two by two instead of two by three across up there. But I, I still need the angle to go on the loader itself. So that's, that's gonna be all for this video. I'm gonna combine this with working on the truck yesterday also. So um, that way I've got enough for one video. I, I wish I could have got all this done today, but I thought I had enough metal, but it turns out I didn't. 